Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace the drive shaft on your GE washer model. If you notice that the drum on the washer isn't rotating effectively, the washer is not working at all, or if your washer is making loud noises while it's in operation. For this repair, you'll need a set of channel locks, a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver, a 3 8 nut driver, a 7 16 nut driver, a half inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers, two putty knives, a hammer, a three quarters inch wrench, a zip tie, a box cutter, a socket wrench with a three eighths socket, and a spanner wrench. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. To begin our repair, we're going to disconnect the main water supply from the washer. Next, using quarter inch nut driver, we're going to unscrew the screws that hold in the front panel assembly and the back panel assembly. Next, we're going to lift up on the front panel assembly and just slide it to the left. And we're going to pop it out just like that. And next, we're going to disconnect any wires to the main control board. and we're going to remove this front panel assembly out of the way. Next, we're going to remove the front panel of the washer. Using two putty knives, we're just going to lock into the locks. We're going to pop that front panel out. I'm just going to lift up and remove that front panel. After that front panel has been removed, next we're going to undo the screws that is holding the top of the washer to the frame of the washer. Next, we're just going to pull the top of the washer just a little loose. Next, we're going to open up the door. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to push the lid switch to the top of the washer. We're just going to pull it out and slide it through. And after that, we're going to remove the top of the washer from the machine. So next, we're going to be removing this metal plate. We're going to do that by first removing ins any insulation or padding. And next, using a quarter inch nut driver, we're just going to remove those screws. So next, we're going to remove these white end caps. We're just going to slide those out with our hands. Next, we're just going to remove the back. We're just going to slide it to the side. Next, using a pair of needle nose pliers, we're going to remove the water level switch hose. I'm just going to slide that hose through. And we're going to remove this back metal plate and just place this to the side as well. So next, we're going to disconnect the hose from the outside of the tub. Next, using a pair of pliers, we're going to loosen up on this clamp right here to get the drainage hose off of the drain pipe. Next, using a 516 snow driver, we're going to remove the four dampening straps from the tub. Next, we're going to remove the top cover of the tub. So just gently using your hands, we're just going to lift up on this clip and pull up. We'll do that all around the tub. So next we're just going to lift the top cover of the tub out. So next we're going to take the agitator out of the washer and we're just going to lift up with our hand and we're going to remove it. Next using a 7 16 nut driver we're going to remove the agitator nut. <clears throat> and once that's removed we're just going to lift up and remove the agitator coupling. The hub nut is going to be located right here. And to remove the hub nut we're going to need a spanner wrench. So we're going to fit that around the hub nut. You're going to notice that on the nut itself, it's going to say loosen in the direction. So using our hammer, we're going to hit the spanner wrench in order to loosen the hub nut. And once that nut's loose enough, we're going to just use our hands and we're going to pull it out like so. So once that nut hub has been removed, 
Next, we're gonna remove the inner tub of the washer. Be careful while you're doing this, you might need assistance. Next, we're gonna remove the split tub bearing using a flathead screwdriver. We're just gonna press into the, this cut, which will loosen it up for us. And then we're just gonna slide it off. The hub washer is gonna be located right here. And using our hands, we're just gonna remove it. So next, we're gonna remove the support rods from the tub. We're gonna do that by using a hammer and we're just gonna pop them out by lifting up the tub and pressing down on the hammer. Next, we're gonna remove the wires from the motor and the frame of the tub. We're gonna do that first by unclipping the wires connected to the motor. So once all the wires have been removed, next we're gonna remove the two front suspension rods. So once both those support rods have been removed, next we're just gonna push the tub out of the front of the washer on its side. I'm gonna lay it upside down just like that. So the driver pulley is gonna be this big wheel-like thing right here. So next we're gonna remove the drive belt and we'll do that by pulling up with it on the belt with our hands and sliding it off the pulley. So next using a three-quarters wrench and a hammer, we're gonna remove the bolt that holds the driver pulley to the drive shaft. So once you remove the belt, we're just gonna lift up on the drive pulley and remove it. Next, using a 3 8 nut driver, we're gonna remove these three screws. Next, using a half inch nut driver, we're gonna remove the screws that are holding this frame to the outside of the tub. So once all those screws are removed, next we're gonna make sure that we've disconnected any wires to this frame that's also connected to the drive shaft. We're also going to cut this zip tie right here. Next we're gonna remove the screw right here which holds the drive shaft to this frame. So next we're just gonna lift up on this frame and we're just gonna remove it to the side. Next we're gonna lift up and we're gonna remove our old drive shaft. Next, grab your new OEM replacement drive shaft. If you don't have one of these drive shafts already, you can find one on one of our online stores. So we're gonna take our new drive shaft and we're just gonna position it through the tub. Next, we're gonna replace that lower bottom frame. So you may notice that your drive shaft is out of place, so we're just gonna lift up on this bottom frame and make sure that all the screw holes align with one another. So next, we're gonna replace the screws that attach the drive shaft to this frame. So next we're gonna replace this screw that's screwed in from the bottom which holds the drive shaft to this frame. Next we're gonna screw in the bottom frame back into the tub. Next, we're going to zip tie the flood hose to this bottom frame. Next, we're going to reattach the drive shaft wire harness. Next, we're going to put our drive pulley onto the drive shaft. So, next, we're going to take our pulley knot and put it on the drive shaft. So, next, we're going to take our belt and we're going to place it around the motor. And then we're going to place it on the pulley. And we're just going to spin the pulley while holding the belt in place. So once your belt is secure, you can now reassemble the washer. Next, we're going to place the tub back into the washer cabinet. So we're going to do that by making sure that the counterweight is in front. 
We're just gonna lift up and place it in carefully. So next we're gonna put in our front suspension rods. So next we're going to connect the front suspension rods to the tub. So next we're going to connect the rear suspension rods to the tub the same way we connected the front ones. So using our hands, we're just going to place washer onto the drive shaft so it fits into position. So we're going to take our split bearing and using our hands we're just going to slide it into position. We're going to press down tight, this way we know that it's going to be set in position. So next we're going to place the inner drum back into the washer. And next we're going to replace our hub nut. We're just going to spin that into position with our hands using our spanner wrench we're going to place that on the tub nut. And using a hammer we're going to tighten the hub nut tight enough so the tub doesn't move on the drive shaft. And once you notice that the hub nut is tight enough and secure, next we're going to replace our agitator coupling. We're going to replace the agitator nut. So next we're going to replace our tub cover. We're just going to make sure that all the clips align with the outside of the tub. So it may take a little bit to get it into position. So once your tub's in position, we're just going to snap all the clips that we popped off recently onto the outside of the washer. We're doing that all the clips on the tub cover are connected. I would just take your hand and make sure that none of the clips are unconnected. Once you notice that they're all securely fastened, so next we're gonna reconnect our hose to the outside of the tub. So next we're gonna reattach our dampening strap. So next we're gonna replace this back assembly. So next we're going to put in our end caps. So next we're going to connect our pressure switch hose to the pressure switch. So next we're going to replace our agitator. Next we're going to grab the top of the washer and we're just going to set it into position. So we're just going to lift up and we're going to grab our switch and we're going to slide it through the top just like that, slide it in and lock it into position. So once the door switch is in, next we're going to replace the foam on the inside of the back assembly. Next we're going to adjust the top of the washer so it fits into place. So next we're going to screw the top of the washer back into place. Pliers, we're going to tighten up on the drain hose clip. And with our hand, we're just going to slide the drain hose into position. And next, just make sure that it's locked onto the drain pipe tightly. This way, no water will leak out. Next, we're going to reconnect all the wires from the motor and the motor frame assembly. So next we're going to set in the front panel and just lock it in. 
So next we're going to reattach the wires to the main control board on the display assembly. So once all the wires have been reconnected, next we're going to slide the display assembly and lock it in. So next we're just going to replace the screws that we took out previously to lock the back panel and the display panel together. So next we're going to connect our water inlet poses. And once both hoses are secure, your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share, and if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.